everyone welcome back to GK today i am mujhe sana and in this video we'll cover the current affairs before we move ahead let me inform you that these questions are part of our daily 20 mcq series 2022 in the gk today's android application so if you are looking for the text version of these questions and their explanations along with the interactive quiz you may consider joining our daily 20 mcq series in the gk today android application in this course in app you get daily 20 mcqs a fortnightly quiz a monthly revision document and also category wise revision ebooks that are optimized for reading on mobile you are also able to access all archives of questions from january 2020 onwards and let me tell you one more thing if you want the hindi version of this session you can refer to our former channel named as gk today the link has been given in the description box from where you can reach to so without taking much of your time let's get started good morning everyone welcome back to gk today and today we'll be discussing most important mcqs for 13th and 14th of march 2022 starting with very first question european organization for nuclear research cern has recently suspended the observer status of which particular country so recently it has suspended the observer status of russia fine and talking about cern it is the international scientific laboratory which has the world's largest atom smasher fine so cern has announced that its 23 member states condemned russia's invasion of ukraine and obviously ukraine is one of the seven associate member states and russia like the us japan and the european union had observer status in cern earlier okay but now it has removed the observer status of russia fine now one thing i have to tell you is we have changed the pattern of revision little bit in the next slide you will see five to six questions regarding russia means why russia was in news we will see that okay so let's see the questions first question is which technology company has launched air raid alert system on android phones in ukraine so which tech giant has done this answer is google okay second question says which institution adopted the resolution titled as aggression against ukraine which has done this so this initiative has been taken by united nations general assembly do remember that this is one of the six principal organs of united nations and it is the only united nation organ wherein all member states have equal representation fine who is the head of united nations right now it is abdullah shahid now third question says ukraine shares border with how many european union member states so answer would be four do remember that here the term european union member state is quite important okay we are not asking ukraine shares border with just how many countries here the key word is european union member state okay so do remember that uh, ukraine is bordered with russia to the east and northeast then in the north there is a country named as belarus fine and in the west three countries are there poland slovakia and hungary and in the south two countries are there romania and moldova so simply you have to remember this chart okay now next question what is the name of the initiative launched by india to bring back the indians stranded in ukraine many times i have told you the name of this operation is operation ganga fine now last question says which country passed a resolution to show support to ukraine condemning russian military aggression so this has been done by usa okay so these were the things why ukraine was in news so i think it is now easy to remember all these points fine next question what is the theme of national youth parliament festival 2022 so in the inaugural session of national round of third edition of national youth parliament festival 2022 was recently held and sports and youth affairs minister anurag thakur addressed the session okay and the theme of this year's national youth parliament festival is be the voice of new india and find solutions and contribute to the policy okay so this event is organized to hear the voice of the youth who will join various careers in the upcoming years as simple as that okay now again in the next slide we'll see some of the questions regarding themes and days okay so first question says as 
for a recent parliamentary committee report what is the proposed guarantee number of days of work in mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act so as we know that earlier this limit was 100 days but now it has been increased to 150 okay so now correct answer is 150 second is which country has become the world's first to reduce its current 5 day work week to 4 and a half days so as we know that current work week is just 5 days it is globally accepted but do remember that ua is the first country in whole world to adopt 4.5 days work week okay means after friday afternoon it is holiday then saturday off sunday off okay so this country is ua third question says as per the updated dicgc act account holders can access their insured deposit amount within how many days so answer would be here 90 days and last question says as per the deposit insurance and credit guarantee corporation bill 2021 up to what amount the depositors of a stressed bank put under moratorium will be able to withdraw within 90 days this question is related to the earlier one so here answer would be 5 lakh rupees okay the next question says which country's president recently signed an executive order on government oversight on cryptocurrency so usa president joe biden has signed an executive order on government oversight of cryptocurrency that insists on the federal reserve to explore whether the central bank should create its own digital currency okay so this order requires the government to examine the risk and benefit of creating a central bank digital currency okay so the correct answer is usa now in the next slide again five six questions will be there regarding usa why usa was in news so first question says which institution announced a new partnership under samrit initiative along with usaid two things are important first of all what does samrit stands for so it is sustainable access to markets and resources for innovative delivery of healthcare okay so this is a initiative which has been announced by niti aayog along with usaid fine the second question says as per the lawsuits filed across the usa which company is alleged to have tracked the location data without the user permissions so google has been charged for that the third is the top 3 order for india's export countries are china singapore and usa the statement is you have to tell whether it is true or false so is this true that india's top exported countries are china singapore and usa means at first place it is china second is singapore and third is usa yes it is obviously correct so this statement is right fourth is which country has signed key deal in nuclear submarine alliance with the usa and the uk this country is australia the last question is which indian bank along with mastercard and usaid has committed a sum of 100 million dollars credit facility for a small businesses in india this bank is hdfc bank now one thing is important regarding hdfc bank recently it has been declared as best private bank in india at the global banking awards 2021 right you have to tell me who is the current ceo of this particular bank question number 4 which union ministry published the draft national digital tourism mission so obviously the ministry of tourism publishes the draft of national digital tourism mission for stakeholder comments and feedback so as per the draft the autonomous body will be at the aegis of ministry of tourism with a ceo and board of directors okay and the vision of national digital tourism mission is to bridge the existing information gap among different stakeholders of tourism ecosystem through digitization okay now in the next slide we will see some of the questions regarding different ministries so let's see first is pli scheme for drone and drone components was announced by which union ministry usually these type of questions are so easy because you can guess also so here answer would be ministry of civil aviation right because this is the department which will take care of the drone and drone components right 
Second is which ministry organized the India Water Pitch Pilot Scale Starter Conclave? Answer is Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. Third is which union ministry launched the Donate a Pension Initiative? So recently, Minister for Labor and Employment, Mr. Bhupendra Yadav, has inaugurated the iconic week celebrations of this ministry. And also he announced the Donate a Pension Initiative under Pradhan Mantri Shram Yogi Mandhan Pension Scheme. Okay. So under this initiative, Indian citizens can donate the premium contribution of their immediate support staff such as domestic workers, drivers, helpers, caregivers, nurses in their household or company. And the minister also announced integration of e-shram with national carrier services portal. Okay. The next question is smart event tracking system is the in-house software of which ministry or agency? We have talked about it very recently. So answer would be ministry of railways. Next is which union ministry awards Vishwakarma Rashtri Puraskar? So recently these awards have been given by ministry of labor and employment. And last question says what is the objective of Samarth initiative that has been launched by MSME ministry? So it is for women entrepreneurship means to promote the women entrepreneurs. Okay. You have to tell me what does the Samarth acronym stands for? Do let me know in the comments. Question number five, which Indian state recently launched women at the rate work program? So Karnataka government has recently launched women at the rate work program with an aim to provide five lakh jobs to women within 2026 with necessary employable skills. So at present, women constituted 35% of the workforce of the state and the program aims to raise its workforce strength to at least 50%. Fine. Now let's see some of the important things regarding Karnataka. First question is, Government of India signed a loan agreement of DASH with the World Bank to execute the reward project in Karnataka and Odisha. First of all, do remember that reward project has been implemented in two states, Karnataka and Odisha. And this amount is 115 million dollars. Okay. Second is which company recently signed a memorandum of understanding with Karnataka to help the rural women become entrepreneurs. So this company is Amazon India. It will help Karnataka to make the rural women entrepreneurs. Okay. Next question. The Karnataka Kannada Writers and Publishers Association presented the prestigious Mudrana Ratna Award 2021 to which famous personality in Karnataka? This is Loyan B.R. Ashok Kumar. Okay. Next is by the end of the year 2022, the Karnataka state government has planned how many kilometers of route addition to existing Bengaluru metro operations. So the Karnataka state government will add 36 kilometers of route addition to the existing Bangalore metro operations. Last question says, how many universities of Karnataka state have successfully achieved the University of Eminence recognition recently? So answer is six universities. Fine. Next question, which country successfully launched military satellite Noor 2 into the orbit? So Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps has successfully launched its second military satellite named as Noor 2 into its orbit and it is orbiting at an altitude of 500 kilometers. So the three stage Kasset or you can say messenger carrier launched this particular Noor 2. Okay. And the first military satellite which was named as Noor was launched in April 2020. Okay, so you can be asked that Noor 2 belong to which particular country? Answer would be Iran. Similarly, you have to tell me Nuri rocket belong to which particular country? Do let me know in the comments. Now let's see some of the questions. Which country has recently tested reconnaissance satellite system? So this has been tested by North Korea. Then which country launched the geostationary operational environmental satellite that is GOES T satellite? Answer would be USA. Which country launched a rocket to place record 22 satellites in space in just one go? So this record has been maintained by China. Which space mission or satellite of ISRO has detected the solar proton events 
for the very first time. So this is our Chandrayaan 2. Then which country's researchers joined ISRO for developing a satellite for the very first time? This country is Taiwan. Then which company collaborated with Huge's Communications India Private Limited to provide satellite broadband services in India? This is Bharti Airtel. And last question says, which country funded the Cosmos SkyMed second generation CSG2 satellite launched by SpaceX? So which country will fund it? Answer is Italy. Okay. Next question. Matru Shakti Udyamita scheme has been recently announced by which Indian state? So the Haryana Chief Minister Manohar Lal Khattar presented a 1.77 lakh crore rupees budget for the financial year 2022-23. And he announced the Haryana Matru Shakti Udyamita scheme to provide support to women for becoming the entrepreneurs. Also, he announced Sushma Swaraj Award for women with an award money of 5 lakh rupees. Okay. So earlier we have seen that Sushma Swaraj Award has been declared by which particular state? Answer is Haryana. Fine. Now let's see some of the important things regarding Haryana. First question says, which state after Haryana has recently announced 75% reservation in the private sector jobs for the locals? So after Haryana, this state is Jharkhand to declare 75% reservation in the private sector. On which date the states of Kerala, Haryana, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh and Karnataka were formed. So do remember that these states celebrate their statehood day on 1st of November. Then which among the following states are the part of the agreement which was signed for the Renuka G Dam multipurpose project? Choose the correct option from the codes given below. Basically, you have to tell that Renuka G Dam multipurpose project has been signed by which of the following states? Answer is all. Means Uttar Pradesh, Haryana, Himachal Pradesh, Rajasthan, all are right. Okay. Now, next question Bhakra Nangal Dam is a joint venture of which among the following states? Punjab, Haryana, Rajasthan. Choose the correct option from the codes given below. So, Bhakra Nangal Dam is a joint venture of all, means Punjab, Haryana, and Rajasthan. Here, answer is again all. Now, last question says, Haryana and Jammu and Kashmir have committed to provide tap connections to the people by 2022 under which scheme? So basically, Haryana and Jammu Kashmir have committed to provide the tap connections to all the people, all the citizens by 2022 under the scheme named as Jil Jeevan Mission. Okay. Next question, which city is the host of Sahitya Utsav Literature Festival? So Sahitya Utsav is a kind of literature festival of Sahitya Academy that was recently commenced at New Delhi. And the Festival of Letters 2022 is being celebrated to commemorate 75th anniversary of India's independence. So it comprised of various events including the rise of Young India event, then panel discussion on publishing in Indian languages, tribal writers meet, National Seminar on Impact of Literature on Indian Independence Movement, etc. Okay, so simply you have to remember that New Delhi was the host of Sahiti Utsav Literature Festival. Fine. Now let's see some of the important things regarding New Delhi. First question is, Indira Gandhi Center for the Arts and National Culture Fund signed a Memorandum of Understanding for the development of Atmanirbhar Bharat Center for Design in Elvan Barak Redford, Delhi with which particular bank? means they have together signed an MOU for the development of ABCD in Alvin Barrick with which particular bank? Answer is State Bank of India. Next question, which state government is set to launch the happiness curriculum in primary schools after Chhattisgarh and Delhi? So after these two, the next state which is to implement the happiness curriculum in primary schools, it is Uttar Pradesh. Now next is, the Prime Minister recently laid foundation stone for DASH, the 8300 crore project to bring down the travel time between Delhi to Dehradun to 2.5 hours. So basically, Narendra Modi has recently laid foundation stone for Delhi Dehradun Economic Corridor, which is the 8300 crore project and the aim is to bring down the travel time between Delhi to Dehradun and the travel time would be reduced by 2.5 hours. Fine. 
And last question says, Delhi government announced a six point action plan to completely clean the Yamuna by which year? So our target is to completely clean the Yamuna by 2025, okay? Now there are various things due to which New Delhi frequently comes in news. For example, business blasters program. Also Delhi government is trying a lot in the field of electric vehicles and many more obviously. Next question, which city in the Middle East region has recently introduced crypto asset regulation? So Dubai has enacted its first law governing virtual assets and also formed an independent regulator to regulate the cryptocurrency sector. So UAE is a federation of seven Emirates and Dubai is the financial powerhouse of the region. So Dubai virtual asset regulation law seeks to establish Dubai and the UAE as regional and global destinations for the virtual asset industry. Fine. Now let's come to the question part. Which country is organizing tourism week at the Expo 2020 Dubai? Which country is doing this? India. Who has become the first professional golfer in the world to get the prestigious 10 year Dubai golden visa? Answer is Jeev Milka Singh. Actually, this is the news from the year 2021, not very recent, okay? But yes, it is important. That's why I have put this question here. Next question, mystery variety of cherries has been exported to Dubai recently from which city? So we have exported the cherries from Srinagar to Dubai. The next question is, which of the following is known as Mini Dubai? In India, there is a place named as Bhatkal. It is known as Mini Dubai and it is a place in Karnataka. Basically, it is a kind of town, okay? Next question, which country has permitted Dubai royals to hunt Hobara bustard? This is Pakistan. And the dial 112 service of Uttar Pradesh managed to get the place of which rank in the international call center award event in Dubai. So for this purpose, Uttar Pradesh was ranked at third. Now, can you tell me any one recent news regarding Pakistan? If you remember, do let me know in the comments. So last question says, Gundla Pochampalli railway station declared all women employees railway station is in which state? So the Gundla Pochampalli railway station, which is one of the suburban stations in the Sikandrabad Medchil section in the state of Telangana, was declared as an all women employees railway station. So it has only female staff to handle the day to day activities, including the train operations technicians, ticketing, security and other relevant duties by South Central Railway. So with this addition, this zone will have five such railway stations. Okay. Now important things regarding Telangana. Who are the beneficiaries of the KCR kit scheme of Telangana? Answer is pregnant woman. Next question says, which e platform is to lead the medicines from the sky project of Telangana answer is Flipkart. In this what happened is Flipkart has taken the responsibility to provide the medicines in the remote areas of the Telangana state. Okay. Next question. What is the name of the disinfection system launched in Telangana to reuse the PPEs and other materials of healthcare workers? So the name of this particular system is Vaj Kavach. Okay. Next question is what is glyphosate which was recently banned by Telangana government. It is a kind of herbicide and recently Telangana government has banned it because of its harmful effects. And last question says which organization is to commission India's largest floating solar power plant at Telangana. So this is to be done by NTPC. Fine. Now let's start with today's quiz. Here on the slide you can see five questions which have been taken from the past two three days current affairs. Pause the video and try to solve each of these questions. And at the end of the lecture, do not forget to share your scores in the comment section. So please be honest and do not cheat with yourself. So that's it for today. I hope you have liked the session. These were the important news and events from today. And we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs. Till then, stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. And please do not forget to subscribe to GK Today. With this, Minuzhat Sana signing off.